Hey guys, welcome back to another Lexa Dixon video. I am Lexa Dixon and you are watching another one of my videos. So thank you for coming back. So this week I have a little video about the GoPro 9. Awesome! Well, last week you may have seen a video of me showcasing some New Zealand rock and metal bands. Now, if you did enjoy that, be sure to click on the Spotify playlist link in the description below. I will be adding to that from time to time. Uh, this weekend, if you're watching this on the Sunday uh, when it's released, uh, I will be at WellyCon. Uh, that is Wellington's biggest board gaming convention. I am doing the media there. And of course, tonight, because I'm filming this on Friday, I am heading away to Blind Spot and City of Souls. So there'll be a little video of that coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. So be sure to catch up on WellyCon and Blindspot very soon. But this week, guys, I am talking about the GoPro 9. Yes, that's right. This beautiful, slim, compact, amazing little camera, action camera, the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to test it out a little bit more, and I finally got around to it. Uh, so I've got some segments that I want to show you guys where I've done different things to the footage. Uh, I might have used the different settings on the on the GoPro itself. Uh, so without further ado, this is some shots that I got just with a bit of standard filming. Just point and shoot and click and film. Now one of the cool things about this GoPro 9 is the fact it can go 10 meters underwater. 10 meters underwater without being damaged. That is amazing. Uh, so I didn't have 10 meters of water to fully understand or truly test that out. But while I was down at the park I got some underwater footage. Uh, in my opinion the last time I did underwater footage was with the SJ7 Star. Now that is a real budget camera compared to this, but thankfully it was a colleague at Rover Tours that gave that camera to me. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, that camera was solid um, until, of course, I upgraded to the GoPro. Looking at the underwater footage from the GoPro 9, wow. Just wow. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then here it is. Now there's a really cool setting on the GoPro 9, and that is you can allow it to film two times slow-mo. 
Now, when I went back to look at the footage, it didn't quite give me that effect, sadly. So what I've done is I've slowed it down to 50% speed to kind of give you an idea of two times slow-mo. Uh, now, also you would have seen in the video so far and also going forth that there is a bar right in the middle of the video and that is to show you a little bit of color grading along with the raw footage so you can get a bit of a balance and see how it sort of shoots on the settings that I currently have this GoPro on. Now you really can't show a slow-mo video without showing a comparison of a time-lapse of video. So I got a shot of the river. I shot it for uh, probably about a minute or two. And this is what I managed to get. Now the hyperlapse setting was a setting on the camera. And it, it, wor it worked unlike the two times slow-mo which just looked normal speed to me. What you guys may have been waiting for is my bird watching with the GoPro 9. Now, I saw a Tui and I thought I'd just get some different kind of shots, you know, slow it down and whatnot. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've got standard footage and then after straight after that is 50 times slower, straight after that is 25 times slower. Just so you can see how it kind of looks with the settings that are on this GoPro 9. <laughs> And lastly, one of the cool features on the GoPro Hero 9 is the fact that it's got 20 megapixels for photos. So I went around, grabbed some photos, and I thought I'd show you the quality of what I got, and here it is. Awesome guys, so that was my little video about the GoPro Hero 9. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more updated, um, obviously you can change the lens. I haven't got a, the hyperlens to change it to yet. And if you want the thing where you can see yourself, you know, this the selfie kind of, oh there's me, hi. GoPro 9 is definitely for you. 
If not, the GoPro 8 might be your best friend. Uh, so there's not too much difference. Um, I do need to catch up with Tim Simpson and try and work out some settings on here because I wasn't completely happy with uh, the standard filming. It looked real, yeah, shite. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to catch up with Tim Simpson. May even make a video about the settings on the GoPro Hero 9. But as for next week, like I mentioned, it's probably going to be either Wallycon or Blind Spot, and the other one will be the week after. So that's the exciting stuff that's coming up very soon. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell for all notifications, share this video around to anybody who's contemplating getting the GoPro Hero 9, and of course, give the video a thumbs up. And uh, if there's anything else you want to know about the GoPro 9, drop a comment below. I'll do my research and hopefully I can present something to you in another GoPro 9 video. But thank you for watching and as usual, I will catch you on the flip side. Alright team, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to check out some more of me, go and check out my socials. Go and subscribe. And of course, go and check out these two videos here because uh, I think you'll enjoy those. Until our next video, I will catch you on the next one.